No, girls. Allowed. Here's Butt Lord now. Great job, hero. Those freedom posters have no idea you fucked them over. All right, guys, listen up. Butt Lord has discovered that the Freedom Pals are infiltrating the police station tonight. We have to get there before they do. The police station? We can't take down the police, are you crazy? Yeah, just let the Freedom Pals go do it. We can't do that, guys. Why not? Because at approximately 10.30 a.m. this morning, Classy was arrested by the police. How do you know? Yo, what the fuck? You came where the bitches said you protect my ass. They only give me one motherfucking phone call, so y'all niggas better come and get me the fuck out of here. Lame-ass superhero wannabe motherfuckers. We have to help her, fellas. We made a promise. If we let Freedom Pals go do this on their own, then we're the douchebag franchise they say we are. But why would Freedom Pals work with us? Don't forget the new kid is all buddy-buddy with Freedom Pals now. Butt Lord can trick them into an assault on the lower level of the police station, and meanwhile we'll sneak in and bust Classy out. We're probably gonna get the Freedom Pals killed. And then whose superhero franchise would be number one? We did make a promise to Classy. Everyone get home and get to bed. We have a big job to do tonight. That'll be all, Butt Lord. Go home and wait to hear from the Freedom Pass. What? What do you want now? What? Again with the puppy eyes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No, new kid, absolutely not. You cannot have another class. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. I know that you want closure, but... Oh. No, I guess I don't know how it feels. You're right. You're right. Maybe you should have just one more class. Plant Mancer. Perhaps a plant mancer, like Poison Ivy or Groot. Martial Artist. A martial artist, sometimes known as the monk in other dumb games. You were laying in bed and you heard your mom screaming. You walked out into the hallway. What do you think of this, space boy? <laughs> As a plant mancer hero, you harness the powers of nature to protect, but also to attack. You couldn't stand to watch that innocent alien get bullied. It was time to give those thugs a taste of their own medicine. You conjured a sweet, smelly scent to charm one of the intruders. Wow, you smell like flowers. I'll do anything for you. Completely enamored, the intruder was at the mercy of your will. This guy bothering you? Hey, what are you doing? Take this! God, Jesus! How could you fight a child and an alien? Snap out of it, man! Ugh, huh? The blow from his comrade shook off your charm spell, but the confusion had bought the alien some time to recompose itself. It took out its space ray and opened fire on one of its attackers. You and the alien shared a glance. You could tell it trusted you. You reached to the ground so as to use Mother Nature's power to defeat the alien's attackers. Roots sprung from the ground, dropping the alien bullies to the ground in a twisted wave of wood. Jesus, I'm out of here. Yeah, fuck your plants, kid. Your newfound alien friend breathes a sigh of relief. Moo. But then a third intruder entered the hallway. Moo. And he also wanted to beat up the alien, so he did, with a vengeance. Moo. Moo, moo, moo. The alien couldn't take the beating sitting down, of course. It retaliated with another shot of its space ray. You can see the alien was fighting for dear life, so you summoned the gentler side of your plant powers to heal it. Moo, moo, moo. But it wasn't enough. The intruder mercilessly continued to pummel your new space friend until it was unconscious. Moo, moo. Watching the alien fall sprouted something inside of you. You summoned all of your plant mancer power to revive your fallen friend. Mother Nature heard your call and bestowed her bountiful gifts upon you and the alien. Moo, moo, moo. As is the nature of a support class, the glory of the final blow rarely falls on your shoulders. Moo. Moo! 
But you're always on the winning side. You ran to your parents' door, and before anything bad could happen, you ran inside to protect your mom! But you were too late, your dad totally fucked her. <sighs> oh, it must be tearing you apart inside. How people can do that to other people, I just... I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we've got work to do tonight. I'll see you at the police station. There's nothing more to talk about. I'll be in touch tonight after your parents think you're sleeping. <laughs>